Hi, my name is Ben up at Bowling RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of one of our new toy haulers. This is a 2022 Wolfpack 27 Pack 10. This right here is a fiberglass unit. Uh, on this side we have our outdoor speakers. We got blue LED lights on both sides of our awning. Our awning is not out all the way right now as we got a little wind kicking up right now. Um, great spots in this unit to hang out outside. You know, we have our leash latch, hook up the dog here. You have an outdoor cooking station. Um, so if you don't want to use this cook stop, cooktop, there's an LP quick connect underneath here so you can always hook up a different gas grill. You do have a quick connect for a spray hose. That way if you need to clean off that gas grill or clean off anything else, you can. Um, ice maker, you know, get those cocktails going. Um, this right here, what they have on these Cherokee units is they have a TV backer that it is universal. So you could use it inside the same TV, take it off and then put that same TV outside here to watch TV outside as well. Uh, right here, you're gonna have your 110 plug up, plug in, and then you would have your cable plug in right here right now, which is a little sticky, but that's your cable plug in. We'll walk around to the front here, take a peek through our pass-through storage. So in our pass-through storage, we do have a table right here, a standalone table that could be used uh, inside or outside the unit. And you can see that nice big pass-through storage. In the front of the unit, we are going to have a power tongue jack. Already have a 27 series battery on this unit as there is a solar panel on the roof as well. And coming down the side, we have power jacks. Our black tank pole is going to be right here. So that's our valve pole on that. It's going to be our dump right behind it. Coming down the side here. You see we have a nice big slide that's really gonna open things up. One thing we don't wanna forget, we have a, uh, they're prepped for, for awning uh, slide out toppers. And so that's just gonna help save you some money on that, having that prepped. And then you will notice in the slide, we got windows all around, definitely bringing a lot of nice natural light. Outdoor shower here. The outdoor shower is gonna be hot and cold. Black tank flush. So what that is, is some of the old campers, you would have to put a hose down. If you forgot that valve, to open that valve, then you would have some bad water splashing back on you. So the black tank flush, hook a hose up to that. It's gonna spray out that black tank, keep it nice and fresh and clean for you. Cable satellite hookup, if you're at the park as well, that's gonna just give you that hookup so you can watch cable or satellite at the park. Fresh water connection, so that's gonna be your fresh water tank to fill up. City water connection is going to be a direct water hookup that stays in there while you're at your campsite. Uh, spray port here, again, there's one on the other side as well. That's a quick connect for that spray hose. So that way, if you want to clean your feet off or clean, maybe you got your toys, you want to rinse those off, you can do that as well. So in the back of this unit, it's a little different than most toy haulers. And we'll give, just give you a little peek right now from this side, and then we'll go inside and take a look as well. So this gate opens and closes. You can put it as a perimeter patio here. You do have hookups for TV right up in there. So if you want to put TVs up there, you could. But this patio is just a really nice extension of your camper. Um, as you see, when we look from back here, it's not as wide as we see most toy haulers. The reason they did that is you're maximizing your living space and you're still getting the capability of putting in maybe a four-wheeler or motorcycles or kayaks or bikes or things like that. You do have a backup camera that's already installed on the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go up inside the unit, show you some of these cool features and check it out. Um, the dry weight on this unit is 8,500 pounds. So stepping up inside, we'll go right to our toy haul air toy hauler area first we got two beds so it's a little different they usually they do a couch but they give you the double beds it is on the um, happy jack type system here with just push the button to lift it up and down and then when we walk in the back here you'll see you got the tie downs for any toys that you want and you have your nice big patio area back here as well you are going to have exhaust vents here too 
So you open those up, nice window. Again, it's a smaller area here, but it's gonna allow us to have our patio area back here. And then we'll sneak kind of around the corner. TV backer and TV hookups all throughout here as well. So back up into the unit, you know, you could have your bikes, four wheelers, things like that, all tied down right here. And where the benefit is, is that we come into here and we still have this area for the bathroom. Really tall ceilings in here because it's a toy hauler. So for taller people in that shower, makes a huge difference. They have a porcelain toilet, you know, still some pretty darn good leg room. And they do give you a sink in here. Make sure you wash your hands up and even a window for some natural light and capabilities of airing out that bathroom. Now into the living room area, again with toy haulers, usually it gets pretty condensed. The way they set up the garage allows you to have more of a living space. Uh, heated and massage recliners here, and they're gonna be straight across from where our TV is and electric fireplace. Electric fireplace is gonna allow you to save propane uh, if you have hookups and give you some pretty darn good heat off of that. And there's some of the nostalgic as well. Just gonna close this door quick. Got the 148th uh, fighter wing jets flying over. Uh, down below here is our battery disconnect. So if you're looking for that, make sure you have that on so you can run everything in the unit. Uh, really nice big fridge freezer combo here. Again, this is a 12 volt because it does come with a solar panel on the roof. So very, very deep, uh, very large, cools down very, very quickly. Really nice to have. Um, our stove top area here, we give you a little dual purpose backsplash protection cutting board. It's gonna have magnets on the back, sticks right to there. Uh, stove and our oven, and then some pretty nice counter space over here. Nice big sink to wash dishes in. Right now everything's winterized, but we got our spray handle here too. And then our cupboards, we got cupboards up top, you know, definitely deep enough to put pots and pans and dishes inside, things like that. And then they still get a dinette, one thing they're famous for. Nice big drawers, pulled right out, and get lots of storage in them. And then into our bedroom area here, They do have a little bit of a thicker, more upgraded mattress in this unit. Definitely better than what they used to be. There's no doubt about that. Walk around bed, you know, in front of the bed here, you still get some pretty good space. So you're not limited to just a very small area to sneak through. You get hanging storage on both sides here. And then some storage up top as well. Both of these lights are individual lights. So if one person wants to read, the other person wants to go to bed, that's not a problem. You got 110 plugins on each side, charging your phones. And again, I mean, it's a smaller bedroom, but at the same time, still a walk around bed and still gives you ample space in front of that mattress. Um, again, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please, leave them for us. You can text me, call me at 218-740-4965. Again, my name is Ben from Bullion RV. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe as we got a lot more coming. Thank you.